Hey everybody, it's Anxies14 uh, bringing you my first tutorial. A tutorial on how to build houses that flow using wood. First off, I've already built the base. It's a 9x9 nine nine square with a square cut in the middle uh, for the um, door. Now we start off with dirt here. Basically, if you put dirt in every corner, like so. This will give you your basic framework that you want to work with. Then you've got to have fences. Now you take the fence, you jump up, and you place it. Chisel this off, and place it. It makes a pole. A lot of people have been asking me how to do this technique on multiplayer servers, so I'm showing everybody now. Same thing with that one. And that one, and we have one more to go. And that's it. Then I just go around the house, do this real quick. Pretty much just try to get every fence that you possibly can done. Um, you don't have to go around the whole house. I just do it because it's my aesthetic choice when I do the um, the flowing part of the houses. It looks a lot nicer when it's complete. Um, so yeah, let's just finish this up. There are different variations. This is just the standard design that I sat here and worked with for about a day. Okay. Now, you're going to take a pile of dirt. A lot of people like to do this because it's a lot easier to use dirt for platforming. <clears throat> it, it allows you to um, get up a little higher here, get some uh, perspective on your uh, building. For some reason, I went a little too far away there. Um, it's easier to break down. Always, you don't always have to use wood for uh, the platforms, but it's a lot easier to break down in the in the long run. Now, you get one block up, and you can pretty much get the framework of your house. You put that there because that's usually what I do for my door. Is I do that. Yeah, you could. Let me get outside of the house here. It's a lot easier to work from the outside of the house as far as framing goes. This does require a lot of wood. Um, you probably be chopping trees for a while. Um, wood is a pain to actually work with here um, only for the fact that sometimes when you do get it like that it, it does does jump on you a little bit more than like stone but I mean you could use stone if you want to I just prefer wood because it looks a lot more natural as far as a house when you first start off it's it flows a little more it looks neater cleaner than a bunch of stone in the square and that's your framework there and then you're just gonna take whatever wood you have left And um, you'd fill in the roof. I'm not going to show you that in this tutorial. I'll show you after I complete this house. Uh, I'll show you how to add second floors and stuff. Just stay tuned. That's pretty much your base frame there. You're going to have like a, a roof on it, of course. But I'll uh, post up more videos when I get the time to do it. But all right. 
have fun building with